You're never going to believe what my vet asked me to do. Good morning, Adler Farms family. How are you? Grandpa, Adler Farms. Well, I guess after that little intro, I better have a good old story, huh? I do. I got a good story, but we won't get into it right now. Give me a little bit. You know me, I get distracted extremely, extremely easy, and I may be wandering all over the place, so I got a phone call yesterday to do something for Smokey, and that's what it pertains to. I couldn't believe it, and I will share it with you. How is everybody today? Let me just get this open here. You know what? It is cold out here today. I bet these girls aren't even out, are they? No, they're all out. Well, look at there. <laughs> they're all out. All right, well, they're over there in that other uh, little shelter we built. Yeah, they're all over there. Hi, girls. See, it's cold out here, Grandpa. Yeah, it is. Did that door open up? Hang on a minute. They didn't spend the night out here, did they? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Boy, that had me there for a second. Kind of spooked me. All right, we'll uh, let them be for now. And I'll tell you why they're all in there. Yesterday was a pretty good day weather-wise. This morning, woke up. Well, when I say pretty good day weather-wise, did it make it to 40? You know, that was like a heat wave. So it made it to 40, let's just say. Barely. Now today, it's like 19 degrees out here. So it dropped back down. I was going to come out today and do a treat day today. Good morning, Smokey. Good morning, girl. I had treats. I bought bananas and strawberries and a bunch of things. And I was going to make that part of the video. One of our Adler Farms family members had uh, sent us some money to buy treats for everybody. And I did. And I was going to do that this morning as, uh, as part of today's video. But... It's so cold out here. You can see the birds. They're completely disinterested. So I'm thinking that I'm going to wait until the next video. Everything's in the refrigerator. It'll hold. It's supposed to be like 60 some degrees the first part of next week. That's when I'll film and that's when we'll do treats, okay? Now, you see that right there? See what he did? See that right there? Now, that's another story I got to tell you right there. That big old boy right there, he is so on my naughty list right now. Yeah, we'll go down there and we'll talk about that here in a little bit. I'm also going to give you more details about the veterinary visit and what we're doing for Smokey currently, okay? In that short video, which is only 60 seconds, I couldn't do it justice. A lot of you had questions, so I'm going to answer those questions today. We'll get to that after we feed everybody. So, uh... Hang in there. We'll get there. Oh, Batman. Cannot leave things alone. All right, come here, sugar. Here we go, Bill. Batman, you get back. Here we go. There we go. That's a girl. All right, we're going to leave her. Just let her be. She's, she's better off if you put it down there and then don't try to pet her and so forth. Batman, come on. We got to go. We don't have time for this nonsense. You know what? We don't have time for this. Get your... Come on. You know, you're going. You're going right now. Oh, that boy. Come on, let's go, everybody. I got some hay. Look at here. Come on, you got to come with me. Let's go, buddy. Come on, Bubba. Come on, let's go. Come on, don't. No, huh? Nope, you leave her food alone. Yeah, there you go. Awesome. Not, oh, I cannot. I don't know. I'm telling you what. Uh -uh. No, I tell you. We're going to take, I'm going to send you down there and let you hang out with Mr. Brucifer. You know what? Or I'm going to think of a different <laughs> name for you. Don't give me that look. March your little hiney or your big hiney down there because I'm going to talk about you. You're in the dog house. You're in the goat house, partner. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on, Batman. No, no, you're not doing that. Do we do this every day? Listen to me. Look into my eyes. Look at me. Look at me. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Go. Go. Pff, pff, pff. You can't hurt his feelings. You cannot hurt his feelings whatsoever. He is numb to any of that. All right, see, you can have that if you come with me. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Batman. Atta boy. Atta boy. 
All right, come on, let's go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. You know, no more animals than I have. Now this is excluding what's going on with Smokey right now because that's super important. Super, well that is not just super important, that's an understatement. It is the thing right now that we have to deal with. But no more animals than I have. Day-to-day -day basis. I'm telling you, there's something every day. I don't know how you deal with a situation where you've got five, six, seven, eight, ten different kinds of animals. My lands. What an ongoing circus. Woo! Okay. There we go. Now, if we can keep... I'll set this over here because he'll munch on that. But you're going to notice something right off the bat. See this here? The food is not in there anymore. And there's a good reason why. I came down yesterday afternoon. Well, watch that short. I made a short on it a couple days, uh, let's see, a big couple days ago now. And in that short, I showed that food, their grain laying on the ground. I'm telling you what, when he dumped that over, and I know he did it, he got through the strap in between there, knocked that thing over, undid one of the handles. Batman. I know he did it. Honorary stinker. Good morning, girls. Oh, look at that. Oh, man, that is solid as a rock right there. I'm never going to get that water out of there. Um, all right, I'll have to goof. Wow, look at that. Yep, I did that to rinse them out. And I'll be honest with you, I didn't know last night that it was getting down to 19 degrees. I wouldn't have filled those with water. I guess I wouldn't pay much attention. Let's see how I stay in there. Yeah, I can't do that. I'm going to have to give them the other bowls. All right, girls, hang on a minute. i got to get these other bowls out of here. You watch that little video back, that little short Facebook, Instagram, wherever you watch it. Just know I was, I was oh, I was angry at that boy. I was mad, folks, honestly. It was all I could do. Uh, all I could do is just keep tying him up somewhere and putting him time out for a long time. Now look at here. Look at this right here. Look at that. Look at that knucklehead. Now see, he's trying to get over. I'm going to have to look at this. See what he's doing? He's trying to climb over that fence. Look at that. There's nothing in there. See what they're doing? They pounded that fence down. Now they're both in there. I don't know what's going to happen now. Look at that. Unbelievable. Well, let me get over there. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm well, my intent was, obviously, I have to take that uh, fence down before they get hurt or hung up. I tell you what, I don't know if I'll ever have any of this down to a science. Animals are just too, they're either too predictable or too unpredictable. You know what I mean? Hi, Miss Olivia. Hi, Bella. Hi, Lola. Come on, babe. Come on, girls. I got it. Grandpa needs to pay attention to you, don't he? Yep. You're being good. You're being good. Oh, look out. We got to go. Hang on. Uh-oh. I got to get them backwards. Got to get the rear ends facing the other way. Here go, Lola. Here, honey. Here. No, here. Right there, babe. Right there. Okay. All right. Okay. Hey, girls. Oh. Best. Some of the best behaved animals I got. You all have never given me any trouble whatsoever have you well don't no don't hear honey musical bowls that, that look you're on the other side of lola that's like being on the other side of the sun you can't see around it so i guess with animals such as these goats they cannot be blamed for doing what's natural i mean ultimately it's up to me to make sure they cannot get in there which i thought i had done but once they figure something out see here look what he's done see now he's look at him trapped in there so i even got these straps on so what he did is he knocked it down this way. Well, now what are you going to do, big fella? Huh? You got yourself in there. How do you get out? What are you going to do? Huh? Yeah, I know. Look at you. Everybody else, I could go over there and feed the others, and guess what? You wouldn't get nothing. Oh, my goodness. All right. Let's let him out of jail. I guess. Maybe this would be a good place to take a time out for you, do you suppose? Huh? Nah, we'll let you out, but 
Yeah, see, see Batman, this is what happens right here. Yeah, first we're tempted. I think that's kind of how sin works, isn't it? And this is what happens when you, yeah, <laughs> this is what happens. This is a good, this is a good uh, life lesson right here. You know what? Before we sin, what is it? We're tempted, right? We're tempted. We look at something and go, oh, wow, that looks, I, I'd like to do that. I know it's wrong, but I, I, I want to do it. So we're tempted by something. Then we actually take action upon it, don't we? And then our action results in that sin, and guess what? It also affects other people, all right? So the result of your uh, sin of breaking in there, everybody else is affected. You follow me? Huh? Is that not like a biblical truth? That's a good example, isn't it? So now, as a result of him getting in there like that, I can no longer leave this grain out here anywhere. So I got to figure out a different way now to uh, get this to him. There's Smokey. Hi, Smoke. Did you eat a good breakfast, girl? Yeah. That tail's up. She's good. All right. Yeah, I'll have to figure something else out now. Also, he got in there, folks. I kid you not. Now, he ate a bunch of that grain. My concern was that he ate so much that he'd cause some kind of a problem inside and you know that kind of stuff right there can can be deadly for a goat right and he's already big enough they're already too big all of them because i think they're too overweight not grossly overweight but too much for me that's it you guys switch around i have threatened to put them on a restricted eating plan well i am truly going to do it and y'all watch out smoke i think she tries to get in there and eat their food y'all hold me to it will you you all make me accountable. From now on, I mean it. I was giving them about a cup and a half or so, wouldn't I smoke, of this grain twice a day. And literally, they can actually live on hay alone. In addition to, it'd be nice to have some forage. Well, there's no foraging right now. This grain does have essential minerals and copper in it, which they need. However, I think I've been giving them too much. Again, old school, oh, okay, you know, they're hungry. Go ahead and feed them. Let them eat what they'll eat. If that doesn't make it right, and it doesn't make it good for them. So I cut them back now a cup each in the morning and one at night. I don't want to cut them completely off or make it too big of a shock. Hi, babe. Hi, sugar. You're okay. You're okay. It's grandpa. It's okay, babe. You're okay. So I'm going to curtail that, and I mean it this time. I really, I really mean it. It's for their own good because he is just too big and uh, last night when he ate all that grain I was really worried I, I, I worried about it thinking oh my god I'm gonna come out there and he's he's not gonna be okay because he as you saw in that video once he ate all that grain out of there he didn't want to eat when I put any more out he was stuffed which is extremely unusual so now what I got to do so I got to take this set it back over here for now now that's gonna be a pain in the rear I cannot keep doing this I don't know what I'm going to do. I got to get this away from here or he will think that he can go get that. Oh my goodness. Batman. Brucifer. So there's my goat story. <sighs> got to figure out something. All right. Here you guys want some hay? Here. Get some hay. So we're going to keep them loaded up on hay. Not worried so much about the feeding at the grain. You guys just learned to eat hay. Grandpa, I mean, I'm taking a stance. I, I'm done. You guys, I'm, I'm done. I mean it. Everybody out there, the Adler Farms family, who are all your surrogate grandparents, are going to hold me accountable for your health, okay? We want you guys around for a long time, so we're going to eat a little bit better. Would that be all right with you, Foxy? I think I see a girl up there. Hang on. That's uh, sassy. Sa Hi, sass. Hi, honey. What are you doing up there? I keep checking up there to see if they've laid eggs. Can I put all that hay up there? See all that hay? So uh, let me uh, hang on. I got a cracker and egg. Okay. There's no eggs in there, is there? No, they're still not. Man, I tell you what, if these girls are laying, these two, it's a mystery to me. I'd love to find out where in the world they've got to be laying eggs. You can't go five months without laying an egg. 
especially when you're eating here honey here you want this one look you get the whole thing to yourself today look at that all right that a girl oh boy grandpa that's a girl that's a girl i didn't see gray down there maybe she's down here with magneto yeah so that's where she'll eat up there see that a girl that's sassy she's been with us a long time her mags and yeah that's their that's where they lay at night yeah see any eggs up there i don't see any all right there's no food up there fella just egg and you don't eat it i'm going to leave this open-ended now since i saw what he did that way he don't get in there and get hung up and get hurt and i'll take this apart later on so all right we got our piggies we got the goats i bet smoky hopefully now see smoky's been down here eating so she's full whatever she hadn't eaten I'll take out. Somebody said the other day, hey, you took her food out and she'll probably come back and eat it. Well, remember, if I leave it down here, Batman will come eat it. And I don't want that either. So I assume right now she's eating all she wants. I'll take it out. I'll bring it back later on. And that's how we roll. Someone also had said, oh, she's in that pen down there. She don't have a lot of room. You need to let her come up to the house. My response was, remember, she's a livestock guardian dog. Now, if she doesn't regain her sight or the full use, it does make her less effective as a guardian livestock dog. However, she does go to the bathroom. She urinates all over the place. So she still will be effective to a major degree. She still hangs out with the goats. The goats hang out with her. She hangs out with the chickens. Yeah. I'll get you an egg here in a little bit. You just missed your egg down there. Silly gooses. I don't want to hear it. I, you could have stayed down there and got your breakfast. No. You decided to come down here, run around, play with the girls. Not my problem. I tried to tell you. I don't care, Magneto. Oh, let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, very good. Yeah, I had loaded that up. Remember how full that was? Yeah, she probably had. I bet that was five cups. She had at least three. So I'm very happy that she is now has a full belly. And that is, she's eating good, you know. Whatever she's got going on has not affected her uh, eating habits thus far. Let's get out of here. Go feed some chickens. And then we'll talk about Miss Smokey. Oh, Magneto. I will get you taken care of later on, my young, young man. Oh, her grandma, she's leaving. Hang on, I want to ask her something. Hang on a minute. I'm going to get myself in trouble. You getting ready to go to work? All right, well, by the way, a lot of people were uh, asking, how come you let me come out here and slide on his eyes? I don't let you do anything. You just kind of have a mind of your own. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> see, there you go. They also said, uh, did Grandma make you put that wood up? Yes. Oh, <laughs> whoa, wait, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're talking about the wood over here? The wood there, from there over there. Yeah, because I want to fire every night. But you you make me do that? You're at your I do that at your request? No, but you know I like fire. So yeah. I, let's put it this way. You did it for me, right? Well, yeah, well, I did it to get it cleaned up. But, you know, that's just part of what I do. Grandma doesn't, Grandma, listen, Grandma doesn't make me do anything, all right? She doesn't demand that I do anything. She knows that eventually... I'll get it done. So I don't have honeydews, which I appreciate. That's a good thing for me. I don't have honeydews. You know what I mean? There's no list when I get up in the morning, you know, so I'm very thankful for that. But anyhow, when I come out here and I slide like that, there's just some things I see I can't help but like swinging on the vine. It's going to happen. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen five years from now. But you know, when I fell here, yeah, I could have busted something, hit my head, but I didn't. So I'm not going to stop doing that stuff. You know that, right? Oh, I do know. In fact, Grandma doesn't even ask me to stop doing it. Well, I know she knows. better. Yeah, it, it, don't, it don't matter. Yeah. I'm going to do it. I'm just like a kid. Uh, you tell me not to do something, guess what? <laughs> I'm doing it. You know, I'm ready for some t-shirt weather. I know it's going to be a little bit, but yeah, this morning it's cold out it here. Not 19. Cold. Yeah, I've heard so. the temperatures on the national weather this morning, though, up in Minnesota and places. We have a lot to be thankful for around here. Oh, somebody said in New Hampshire they were 54 below zero. That's what it was, negative 54, oh, negative my. 60. Oh. I know, I can't even imagine. Yeah, so I, I shouldn't be whining, but, you know, it's what you adapt to after yesterday being 40-something, you know. I know, I don't know how the animals handle it. I mean, you know, there, I'm not saying here. Oh, I know, uh, exactly. I know yeah, it, I get it. Always. Reason. Go. Bye, bye, love you, bye. bye.
All right. Cold. Buy smoke. Be careful. I will. Okay. See you tonight. What's for supper? What are you making? Well, I thought you were taking over that job. You did chili the other night. It was I did chili. Yeah, we don't bake supper, do we? No. Everybody asks us, hey, you got leftovers? <laughs> no. Yeah, it'll be a restaurant type situation. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. All right, we got to go feed birds. We got to feed birds, and we got to talk about the smoke, smoky girl. Yeah, listen, that ice thing, folks. You, hey, you can tell me to stop. You can tell me to be careful. I'll, I'll, I'll. Uh, okay. Hey, you know what? I, let's just let me tell you something right now. It don't do you no good. It don't do you no good. It didn't do my mom and dad no good. It don't do Leanne no good. And if they can't make me, I'm sorry to hurt your feelings. You ain't got a chance. Just saying. Okay. Goodness sakes, who piled that hunk of poo up there? Is that a that must be turkey poo? Man, what have we not talked about? I'm sure that there's something we haven't talked about. There, there's a way for us to check how long y'all watch our videos. You know, if I put out a 30-minute video, do you watch it for 20 minutes, 25, 5 seconds? And they do this big average thing, you know. And for the most part, y'all watch the videos all the way. And I apologize. I like to get to the point. But you know me, I go everywhere. So I'll tell you what, if you want to know everything that's going on, you better listen to the whole video. Because, as Grandma will tell you, I will start something and then I'll pick it up five minutes later. I'll start, I just, it's what I do. It's, it's, my, it's how I do. They say you're supposed to be a good, it helps to be a good storyteller, not stutter. It helps to be a good storyteller on YouTube. Well, I can tell a great story. It just may take me a little while. I'll get there. I tell a story, I get a little distracted every now and then, but you just got to hang in there with me. I'll get to it in the long run, and hopefully it'll be worth it. Where's everybody going? Well, we know the wormy dance is coming. We don't want any part of it, Grandpa. It's embarrassing to the birds. You don't know how to dance. Well, you're going to get it anyway. You're going to get it anyhow. You know it's coming. You know it's coming. Let's get your, let's get your scratch down. Here we go. Little scratch here, scratchity scratch. Here a scratch, there a scratch, everywhere a scratch, scratch. Old MacDonald had to scratch. E-I-E-I-O. Oh, Magneto, honey. What are you doing? Hang on, folks. I got to get him some stuff now that he's out there. Goodness sakes. Okay. We got Mag's taken care of. He got him a little, got him some scratch and sunflower seeds out there and went over and fed some to Gray. So let's pour a little of this in here. A little bit in there. Little, that's our 21% uh, protein right there. Let's get the wormies out. I think when I get the wormies out, maybe they'll come back over. I'm not sure. But when it gets cold like this, I like to huddle up. You girls ready? Come on. Here we go. Come on. Oh, we need to go, do a... Let's do an energetic wormy dance today because doggone grandpa's cold. You know, I am not where I got my onesie on. I'm good. You guys ready? Okay, one, two, three. You come here. You want to dance with me? No. You want to dance with me, Blondie? No. Let's see if we get the other girls out here. It's just me and you, everybody. Here we go. You ready? One, two, one, two, three, go. Dun, da, dun, 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 da, dun, 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 Ta-da! Whee! There ain't a chicken around here, man. What is going on with the... You know, it's the wormy chicken dance. Come here, girls. I, you know what? We may have to give them... I tell you what, it's so cold. Let's go over there. We'll feed them wormies over there. What's going on, you guys? Look at them in there. I don't know. They. I get now there's somebody in there, too. Here, girls. Here's your wormies. Here. Here, well, I'll just hand them out right here. Come on. Come here, Nelly. Come here, girlfriend. All right, come here, kids. Oh, boy. Here, we'll just we'll just come to you. How's that? We'll just, just do it right here. Here we go. Here we go, girls. Now, you got to get down through the straw and get them. I can't, you know, you got to go find them. Eat that protein. Eat it. Who's behind me? Hi, sis. Hi, honey. I see us. Hey, sister. Come here, girlfriend. Here, babe. Well, I'm so, it's okay. Why are you whining? Here we go. Don't whine. It's okay. Brrr, what's the matter? 
I love to watch chickens eat. I've watched a couple of videos now. Whatever color their ears are is, is an indication as to what color their eggs might be. Okay? So, Sis's ears look black, but she don't lay black eggs. Okay, that's wrong. Our Rhode Islands look reddish. Are they? I don't even know what color they are. I have no. I have no clue. That's your. Your. Okay, we're good. Okay, there goes Sis. She's going inside. There she goes. Okay. All right. Whoo! Y'all don't care. I'm going to sit inside here inside of one of these porta huts and tell you about. Miss Smokey. Come here, honey. She's right there. I'm not going to make her come over unless she feels comfortable with it. All right. If you've made it this far, you deserve the truth, nothing but the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. So here's my story. As you know, the vet came down, took blood samples, sent them off. Some they did analysis in their own office. We still do not know the results. Yesterday morning, I got a call from the vet, the office, and she said, hey, I want you to do something. What is it? I want you to get a urine sample from Smokey. We would like to send that off because the doctor was consulting with some colleagues and said that might help diagnose if it's something like a tick bite, an insect bite that's causing this problem. Now, can you imagine a urine sample from Smokey? Now, if she was a house dog and I put her on a leash and I let her out, she's potty trained, I pretty much know she's going to go to the restroom and I'll be able to get a sample, right? But out here, running around, so I kind of, I didn't snicker because I thought it was funny. I said, I, I beg your pardon, I, how, I get a urine sample. I said, how do I get a urine sample from her? Well, you just have to follow her around. Uh-huh. Okay. Now, fortunately, I don't have a job. If I did, that would be almost impossible to do. I'm retired, so I got the time. But I never know when she's going to go to the bathroom. It ain't like I let her out and she goes, right? So I'm trying to picture myself following her around, trying to get a urine sample. Now, believe me, when she said that and felt like it was important enough to get a urine sample, I'm all about it. I wanted to do it. I wanted to do it. But my immediate reaction was I just got super anxious thinking, oh my word, I, I, how, do, how do I do that? How do I do that? Besides that, I was actually five minutes from leaving the house to go down and pick up her some medicine that they had given her for something that I need to tell you about. So that, I said, well, do you want me to come down and get that medication or do this? She said, no, you do that, then you come down. Sure, I'll just go out and ask Smokey if she would pee in a cup. Not a problem, you know. We've all done it before. Well, I came out at about 8.15 in the morning. I asked her, too. I said, well, what do I use? What do I, how do I get her? She said, well, have you got a ladle with a long handle? I said, well, I guess. Well, in my mind, I'm thinking, I got one of Grandma's good kitchen ladles. I'll just use that. <laughs> I'll just buy her another one. Uh, yeah, we all got ladles, you know. And then my mind, okay, picture, you know, Smokey squatting and me sticking a ladle under trying to not scare and get a year. I mean, the whole thing was just blowing my mind. I Googled it. I said, I hung, I said anyway, I said, okay, I'll, I'll do my best, you know. I hung up thinking, well, if I don't do this, does this mean they don't know what, you know, is this, is this a bad thing if I don't do it, if I never get a urine sample? Or, I mean, oh, my goodness, I started to panic. I Googled it, and they said, use a like a pie tin, and, you know, it's got a wider circumference, of course, so a better shot of getting it all. Well, I look up in the cabinet, we've got these little plastic plates that we use, and they're nothing fancy. So I grabbed one of those, and I asked her, I said, what do I, I'd also I'd ask her, I said, what do I put it in? She said, well, put it in a Tupperware dish, and then bring it to us. All right, so I got a little Tupperware dish, I got my, got my plate, I come out here, and she's hanging right out here in the front, right? So I'm following her around with that pie plate, thinking, oh my word, what, you, are, you, are you serious? How long is this going to take? How do I know? And if, I, if she does squat down, I mean, I had to get right up on her. In fact, Grandma, show, show this right now. This is what I had to do for most of the day. Now, it doesn't show her actually giving me the sample, but this is what I had to do.
So I started out doing that, right? 8.30 in the morning, followed her around for about an hour, okay? Nothing. So then she comes here and she lays down. She slept for almost three hours. Well, how do I know when she gets up? I think, okay, most people, I do, if I lay down for a long time, I get first thing I gotta do is I go to use the restroom. So I thought, well, if she comes in here and lays down, first thing she's gonna do, she's gonna have to go potty. I ain't kidding, I sit there at the kitchen table. I don't know how long, hours. Looking out the window, watching her. She's sleeping pretty soon, somewhere around noon. She hops up. I throw my coat on, everything, come down here with my plate. About five minutes later, she squats down. She spreads her little paws. I took that plate, ladies and gentlemen. I, I didn't get it on film. I, I, I didn't want to take a chance that I'd miss it. I, I just, you know, I, I, I turned the camera off. I thought, man, I, I don't want to miss this opportunity. I don't know when it'd roll around again. I put that plate under her. She didn't even know it. She wee-weed right on that plate. I took that plate, dumped that in the Tupperware dish, and took it to the vet. Took it to the vet. Had it down there by about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I was just so relieved. I had called Grandma earlier and told her what was going on. And I said, hey, would you just, you know, I said, I've been praying about it. She said, I'll say a prayer too. And I already knew that all of you, because I had done that short, you all were praying. And that may sound a little bit, you know, some of you, you know, prayed about it. Yeah, I prayed about it. Sure did. We're supposed to pray about everything. We pray about everything, right? So I prayed about it. And the opportunity came, <laughs> what's he doing? Are you playing? Are you playing a little bit? You're feeling good this morning. So I prayed about it, folks. And thank God the prayers were answered. I got the urine sample down there to him. I have not heard anything yet on the urine sample. That'll probably be the first part of next week also. You're going to see this video on Sunday. I don't anticipate hearing anything in, at least until the first part of next week. Let me give you the rundown. You know, in that short, I only had a minute to tell you anything. But the vet, when he visited, just to answer some of your questions, she does not have cataracts. He cannot do a deep enough look into her eyes to see if she has like a torn retina or any retinal damage. He's not sure. He said he has seen, if, if that were true, he said, I have seen it fix itself. That is not an issue. He asked if she had been in, just like a lot of you, he said, has she been into any kind of toxic fluid, anything that would, would uh, poison her system here? Listen, folks, you know, mate, you could you come around with me. Water, water, that's it. Just water. I, I keep, no, there's no fluids. There's nothing around here. I don't know how long this has been going on. You know, I noticed it. If, I, I started noticing a pretty good decline about two weeks ago, you know, and I just kept thinking, well, you know, I, I couldn't really tell. Then I noticed her on that one video that I showed, you know, she kind of ran into the fence. I'm thinking, holy cow, you know. So that's when I had, you know, I'd already scheduled the vet visit. You know, for me taking her down there, that's kind of difficult. So I would do it if I had to, if it was an emergency, but it was just easier for him to come up here. Right now it's a process of elimination. He asked about deworming liquid. Any, any chance she had some uh, liquid dewormer spilled on her? Because I guess that can cause blindness. I didn't know that. I said, absolutely not. So we don't know. We don't know. She will be three years old in June. A lot of you ask that. She'll be three years old in June. That's kind of where we're at right now. Um, her joints and everything, he said, you know, she appears to be fine. I'm not saying she doesn't have a little joint issue maybe in her hips, but you watch her here. She will run around. Now, she is adapting to her surroundings. So even if she remains partially blind, folks, or completely blind, she's staying here, obviously. Wouldn't have it any other way. I will not change a lot of things around here. I won't change anything around here. I will not add to something if it's going to affect her in a negative way. You know, she just has some eye issues, folks, and we don't know. I'm hoping it's curable. If not, listen, you know, she always has a home right here. We're going to love her. We're going to love her always. There will be no more animals introduced into her area. The vet even said, he said, hey, listen, you know, even another little dog, he said, she will not have that capability to allow it to be the boss and run around. So it's just going to be the goat and Smokey and the chickens. I mean, I could get another chicken or two if I wanted them to free range and let them loose in here. I could do that, but there's not going to be any other animals, okay? They'll be separate. I will only make it easier for her. That's all I will ever do. So let's, uh, we won't give up hope. We'll certainly, hey babe, we'll certainly keep praying. Absolutely. Because a big prayer was answered yesterday, y'all praying about the me getting the urine, 
couldn't have gone better. She had no clue I was even trying to get the sample. She didn't freak out at all. Oh, the medicine. He noticed that her head might be tilting a little to the left. So he thought perhaps she had an ear infection. The way she tilted her head, it could be just because she's kind of looking, you know, and feeling her way along. That's how she does it. He gave me some medicine to put in her ear and some uh, something to take orally, and Chad's going to help me with that. I'm sure that because you got to put it in here and you got to put it in here, and she ain't going to just stand there and let you do it. So that's going to be a bit of a challenge, but we'll get her done. She's okay. I'm hoping. I'm hoping and praying that that she can be completely get her sight back somehow that it's something medicinal i'm praying for the best hoping for the best maybe you expect the worst and hope for the best and pray okay that's kind of how we're looking at it all right well, that is a complete update you'll see this video on sunday and then the next video would be the following wednesday if something were to come out between sunday's video and wednesday i could give you a short video update if it's something really crucial. Thank you all so much for your prayers, your concern with Smokey, all of our animals. Thank you for watching all the Doss family videos. We appreciate you so, so much. God bless you all. We love you so much. Praying for all of you too. There's a lot of stuff going on in your lives that you all need prayer for. And we, we, I appreciate you letting me know. And we're praying for you just as well. So what do we say? We say until next time, everybody. Bye-bye.